hitting the wall and keeping things fresh in today's episode. So today is all about keeping things fresh for me. I came home yesterday, <clears throat> didn't get a chance to get out there on a run, had a great time with the family, gave myself permission to take that day off. Today is a beautiful day in and around the 40s. If you're new here, my name is Brian Seppi, documenting my learning, my thinking, and my marathon prep up until May. Having said that, I realized by taking yesterday off that uh, I had to come back and do something a little bit different. I've been running similar uh, routes all the way out. I have been running at this low heart rate training or this zone two marathon training, um, keeping my heart rate around 140. And that's been fantastic. I felt really good with it. But I do realize there are times that I have to change it up. Today is one of those days. I have a long run coming on Saturday. And uh, today's one of those days where I'm going to actually go out and I'm going to take a different direction uh, altogether. So a completely different route than I'm used to taking, one. Two, the second thing that I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to mix it up. I think I'm going to go out for about an hour. So my middle miles, and I'm not going to be too hard on this, um, my middle miles I am willing to take up and see if I can at least get it to be a tempo pace. Uh, so we'll see if we can push those under nine, uh, those two miles in the middle. So if I get six miles, I'm looking at miles maybe four and five or three and four, I'm not really sure. I'll make that up as I go. <clears throat> but pushing those miles and pushing the pace a little bit and then recovering with the last two. So I'll keep you posted, here we go. All right, that is it. Seven miles in the books. I will put the run details here. And as you can see, I tried to go tempo on two of those miles and um, that was enough to kind of trick my brain. As I mentioned, kind of breaking up the monotony of some of these runs, middle of the week, hitting the wall, I'm sure we've all been there or uh, you know, experienced it at times in anything that we're trying to grow and, uh, and push. And um, so I decided to mess with my brain a little bit. I was gonna go out and do my normal heart rate training and instead I went out and did my normal three mile warm up or whatever it was and then I hit two miles at more of a tempo pace I, my brain was anticipating those two miles. You know, when I got to the end of mile three, I was like, all right, here it comes. This is gonna be intense. This is gonna feel uh, much more uh, rigorous than the first three, and that was true. And then the second thing I did was I basically reverse engineered my uh, typical uh, running route and basically went backwards and added an extra street. And that too was pretty cool because what I did was I turned off the audio cues uh, for the run and you know, was only going by feel as to how far I thought I was. Looked down at my watch. I did pay attention in mile. I think it was, you know, 2.9 going into three or 3.9 going into four. Whatever was the first faster pace mile. I was kind of paying attention there. But other than that, <clears throat> uh, you know, I felt pretty good about switching up the typical uh, running route. So. Two things trick up at my brain and uh, hopefully this information helps or keeps you going. I know it helped me to kind of re-energize and break the monotony of some of these runs. As always, thanks for watching. If you like what you're hearing here, want to recommend it to somebody that's going through the same thing, want to subscribe yourself, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.